Hello, my name's Avery and welcome to a bit of a different video. Uh, in this one, I will be going through my binder set of EX, Ruby, and Sapphire. So obviously I typically talk about games, but um, I do collect cards uh, and I have showed some, I think slabs as well as raw cards in my pickups videos. So I figured I'd show you guys where these raw cards go. And I've been really wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I couldn't figure out a setup, but I got one right here in front of all my Pokemon games and a couple consoles. Um, <laughs> but my shadow's not in the way. Uh, and yeah, it looks pretty good. So just for a little bit of history, um, I, I am going to make a complete history on the Pokemon TCG, specifically these first four EX era sets, not in terms of the, the card game, but in terms of like collecting, um, because I love these sets. This is really what I grew up on. But EX Ruby and Sapphire, made in 2003. It was the first Nintendo produced set after Wizards of the Coast lost the license. Uh, so Sky Ridge was the last. And then EX Ruby and Sapphire was the first that Nintendo made. Um, there are quite a few differences. As you can notice pretty much right away, the E exists, but there's no actual dot code on any of these hollows. Usually they had like little lines, which actually come back in the later EX era sets. But for some reason, none of these have dot codes. However, the commons and uncommons, they do have dot codes. They only have the Pokedex entries. So they don't have the side ones that would allow you to play mini games. Um, that remains consistent for the first three EX era sets. And then once you go into Team EX Team Aqua versus Team Magma, they completely took them out other than like four or five cards, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go right into it. I'll talk about some other stuff while you guys get to look at the cards. So of course we have Agron. Oh yeah, also just so you know, pretty much all of these are in near mint, mint condition. So as you can see, I think if I pulled any one of these out, they would likely grade a seven or higher. Uh, I actually cracked quite a few CGC or PSA seven or higher slabs to get these cards. Uh, and I also went for as many swirls as I possibly could. I love this style caddy, beautiful artwork there. This dust ox actually has two swirls, I'll show you. See one on that left side and then one over there on the right. Really, really pretty artwork. I have a couple of graded ones of those. It's a Gardevoir, nice swirl, Hariyama, Minetric, Idiana, of course, Sceptile with a nice swirl up on the top. If you can see that right there. And then we got Slacking, and there are actually 14 hollows, so there's two more. The last evolution of the Gen 3 line, Swampert, and then we got Wailord. Also has a nice swirl on that side. Swampert also actually has a swirl over. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. It's like a half swirl. So yeah, and then of course we have the non-hollow rares. I absolutely love the artwork on most of these. There are a few that are pretty boring. Ken Sugimori, in my opinion, the Sceptile, the Breloom, the Blaziken. I think that the, the hollows did it a little bit better. So there's the Blaziken non-hollow rare, and then there's the Blaziken hollow. I like this one a lot more. This is also a very competitively competitively viable card <laughs> whereas this one was horrible this also came in the theme deck um and there were a couple of other promo theme deck cards that i will show you at the end at the end of the binder set but yeah here we go oh uh, starting in the uncommons of course we have aaron 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 first sorry cascoon uh, so one thing I absolutely love about this set is the amount of double arts that they have. So they have this Combuskin, and then they have the, the typical Ken Sugimori one. Uh, same with Grovile over here. We got the cool one, and then the Ken Sugimori original concept art one. Hariyama, non holo a couple of different Curlias, of course, the Ken Sugimori. And then the they, they, they switched artists, so like this one's Midori Harada. And then this one is... Otsuko Nishira. So, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, my fingernails are dirty. I didn't realize that. Ken Sugimori, non one, uh, etc. This Marsh Stomp's beautiful. Love that card. And then we have the Ken Sugimori. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed EX Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, well, I like the game in general. This Slack Off has an error. I will show you. This one is not an error card, but I have the error card in the end. Um, these games are what I grew up playing on. Uh, my first Pokemon game was Fire Red. And it's pretty much, you know, this is like one of the first sets I ever collected. So I ripped packs when I was a kid, etc. 
but I never got into binder sets until very recently. So yeah, this is like an obvious choice for me. There's actually three Makuhita arts. There's the Kensugamori, and then there's two non Kensugamoris. I can't, I, I, I can't really see this. My, my head is like back here. I'm on my phone. Um, and then this Mudkip art is probably my favorite in the set of the non hollows. It's just so cute. And then of course you got the Kensugamori. There are also promo versions of this card that came out for the EU Pop Tournament. I only have the set, the Trico one, but there are ones for the uh, Mudkip as well as the Torchic. Beautiful fan fee right there. Three Pucciana Arts, three Raltz Arts. Raltz Arts, that's a tongue twister right there. Shroomish, Shroomish, Purple Skitty, Taylo. There is also a Pop Tournament promo for this Torchic and then this Trico. Wingle, Worm Bowl, Zigzagoon. And then of course we have all the energy removals. Oh yeah, just before I go to the EXs, I wanna define for you guys what I meant by a complete binder set. So I hate the reverse hollows in uh, pretty much all of these four EX air sets. I only have a couple, I'll show you guys one right here. I can get my finger back. Can I get my, here. So the reverse hollows are just this. Um, I didn't want to go out and find every single one of them. When they got to EX Hidden Legends, they started with the reverse hollows that were um, like refractory hollows. They had cool patterns on them. And those ones I am collecting. Uh, but I didn't want to waste my time with a bunch of mediocre, in my opinion, reverse hollows for these early EX era sets. Um, yeah, once it gets into later EX era, those energy in the background hollows i love those so those i'm definitely going to go for professor birch this card was reprinted in um so is this one in ex emerald both of these were in ex, ex emerald and it was part of the professor program promo also in ex emerald energy search etc no one cares about these metal energy they made this card a promo in this set then of course we get to the ex's chancy ex the nice swirl electabuzz ex actually I had this from when I was a kid. This is my childhood Electabuzz EX card. We got Hitmonchan, Lapras, Lapras, Magmar, Mewtwo, the most expensive of the bunch for sure. Scyther, my personal favorite, I guess, uh, has a beautiful swirl right there as well. And then Sneasel. Sneasel's fine, it's okay. Uh, I actually don't like the EXs from this set very much. In fact, I don't like the EXs uh, from really any of these sets other than Team Aqua versus Team Magma. Uh, especially if you look at the quality of the artwork compared to this. Like, beautiful. Beautiful hollow. Absolutely great hollow. All of these hollows, I think, are fantastic. Dustox, Delcaddy, Blaziken, Hariyama. I, I love these. Agron. Um, and then the EXs look like 3D model renderings. They're, they're just not very pretty, in my opinion. They're fine at best. I really am not a huge fan. <laughs> um, they do get better in the later EXs, though, like EX Unseen Forces. Those have fantastic EXs. And then, of course, we got all the energies, blah, blah, blah. And then we get into the non-set promo cards. So Blaziken, they have two, the non-hollow and the hollow. This is different from the original one because, as you can see, there's no E symbol down here. So... E symbol, no E symbol. These came in the EX Battle Din, Battle Tin promo thing, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, you got one non hollow Blaziken, one hollow Blaziken, one non hollow Gardevoir, and one hollow Gardevoir. The only difference is it doesn't have an E here. It still has the set count down there. It's the exact same. Um, but yeah, there are those. The Orin Binner, bit the Orin Binner, <laughs> the Orin Berry winner. Sorry. I got tongue twisted again. So uh, yeah, you got this for winning a league tournament. And then we have the darkness energy hollow non-winner. And then the darkness energy hollow winner. Both of these have like 40 swirls on them. But of course they do because like the entire card is just hollow. Same with metal energy. So you got the metal energy hollow non-winner. And then the metal energy winner. Just as a winner in, this, in the corner. Uh, these were of course just the exact same as the metal energy over here and the darkness energy except uh they made them winners for whatever reason and then we got the professor program the very first professor program promos of each of 
the energy cards. So that's your program. And then lastly, Orenberry winner. I didn't have a sleeve for this, and this is like not in good condition, but it's the only jumbo card I could find. You got this from winning a tournament, I assume. I'm, I really haven't seen any of these ever. This is the only one I could find. It's the same card art, except it doesn't have a gold winner, and it's obviously not for play use. Yeah, this one was actually probably the hardest card to find in the entire set. Uh, out of every promo, out of every EX, etc. Um, and the only error card in terms of like they reprinted it without an error is this slack off. So as you can see right here, the F in slack off is not bolded. I don't know why someone did that, but I'll show you guys the regular one so you can compare. Bolded, not bolded. And there you have it. There's uh, my complete set of EX Ruby and Sapphire. Again, I am definitely planning on going into detail uh, in specific, like the history of how the set was made, the reception, uh, exactly how these cards, these promo cards orig originated, the artwork, etc. cetera. Uh, if you guys have any interest in that, let me know. Um, but yeah, this is my first binder set video. I, I do wanna do one for the other four as well. So let me know if you like this. If you do, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.